Rockville fans, welcome back. Tonight's repast is going to be chickpeas and spinach, and we're gonna add sausage tonight because Jose said, let's add sausage, and I said, okay. So what you need for this is obviously chickpeas and spinach. So I wanna just show you this ginormous bag of spinach that I bought. This is half of it, I'm using the other half, it's already cooked ginormous bag of spinach that you can get at Gentile's Market. I love that place. 252 just south of Route 3. Absolutely fabulous. Actually, it's Gentile's. They're Italian. So, you need this. And I have cooked some chickpeas in my uh, Instant Pot. And it's really super easy to cook in the Instant Pot. Don't be afraid of it. It's much, much safer than any kind of other pressure cooker. The other mise en place is um, yogurt you know, it's homemade. Instant Pot. Uh, I'm gonna chop up a shallot, and this is curry powder, cumin seed, uh, no, sorry, cumin powder. And there's some chicken broth involved, and you kinda just throw it all in the pot. So that's the basics of it. I'm cooking the sausage now, and I will get back to you with the next section. See you soon. Just FYI, the sausage is also, See that? Yeah. Also homemade because, you know, I'm a domestic nerd. So we'll be making more sausage this weekend, and this is the last of the chicken pesto sausage, which yeah, doesn't go with curry at all, but whatever. I'm sure it'll be fine. And there it is cooking away. Okay, I'm back. So the uh, sausage is, whoops, <laughs> oops, the sausage is cooked. And I've put it aside. Now I'm gonna chop a shallot. I just wanna show you, there's a really great video on Alex Gornichelli's, um Instagram account on how to chop a shallot. This is how I learned how to do this. So she basically peels it from the root end without taking the root off. And then you cut it like you would chop an onion. You go this way and then you go this way. And now I'm going to go this way. <laughs> nice and specific. Just like all of my videos. <laughs> Anyway, the recipe says garlic and onion, but really, folks, learn to love a shallot because it's a great little vegetable, basis for many things, sauces, soups, etc. And this is going to go right back into that same pan that I cooked the sausage in, and I'm going to then put in with it, oh, it's starting to sizzle, I'm going to put in with that the... So these are my Penzi's items this evening, the cumin seed, and then there's this, I don't know, Maharaja? Is that how you say that? Anyway, it's a curry powder that I got at Penzi's. Two tablespoons of curry, one teaspoon of cumin. You throw that in with the shallot, or you can use onions and garlic if you want, whatever. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna add a little more olive oil just because I can. Yeah, I'm just gonna stir that up until it gets kind of soft. So that might take a few minutes. So I will uh, oh, let's use a little more olive oil. So let that get soft. And then I'll do the rest of the recipe. Okay, I'm back. Uh, so the uh, shallot with the spices is cooking nicely. It's a little soft, it smells delicious, oh my God. All right, then really all you do is you add the chickpeas and the spinach. Here's my chickpeas. Cook them in the Instant Pot. Just gonna get those out of there with my fancy whatever this thing is. Throw them in there. Ooh, sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. Love that. Throw those all in there. Lost a chickpea. That's actually two cups of dry chickpeas that I soaked and cooked. Then of course the spinach, which I, that's half of that gigantic bag already cooked down to almost nothing. Okay, throw that in there. And I'm gonna try to mix that together a little bit before I put anything else in. And you mix it together and then essentially what you're gonna add is a little bit of the yogurt and the chicken broth. Now this can be made into a vegan recipe if you substitute the chicken broth for a vegetable broth, clearly. Uh, leave the sausage out, obviously. Um, and you could find, you could either, you could use a, a 
like a coconut milk yogurt or uh, an almond milk yogurt or you know there's lots of yogurts on the market that don't have animal products in them um, and but I'm using uh, I'm using yogurt that is made from from cow milk okay I'm gonna add one cup of Wegmans organic chicken chicken broth throw that in there Stir it all together and you know, just sort of shizzle it here as my mom used to say shizzle it a little bit that's hair family word I think and the last thing that goes in oh well the last thing is going to be sausage this doesn't normally go in I'm going to put some yogurt in there uh, this is sort of an eyeball it kind of thing I don't even know what the recipe says it says eight ounce con container of plain yogurt there is actually a recipe for this. And I'm just gonna spoon a few spoons in, I don't know, whatever eight ounces in. Yeah, it looks about right. I'm gonna mix it all together. And yeah, you can sort of see that, that's great. Just mix it, to, oops, come back, come to mama. Mix it together, mix, mix, mix. And then uh, I'm gonna throw the sausage in in a minute once this gets nice and incorporated. Really, that's it. If you want to add salt and pepper to taste, that's fine. Let me, t I don't know if it needs it. Let me see. Mm. No, maybe, maybe not. Probably not. Mm, yum. So, at some point, I'll do a remedial on how to use the Instant Pot. Someone requested that I do a roast chicken in the Instant Pot. I would never roast a chicken in the Instant Pot. But I do a lot of stuff in there. And so, apparently, some people are afraid of their Instant Pot. And I will show you how easy it is. I'll, I make eggs in it. I obviously make yogurt in it. I cook beans in it. I do a lot of stuff in it. Um, so sometime I'll do that. Um, I'll be right back with the finished product. All right, so the final step is just to throw the sausage in the top. And just keep in mind, this, this recipe doesn't usually have sausage in it. I'm just doing this because I love Jose. And I said, okay, we'll put sausage in. Um, so it really is... A, it, with the exception of the time it takes to cook the chickpeas and the spinach, this is really, really fast. You could actually do it with, with frozen spinach and canned chickpeas, and it, that makes it way faster. Um, I just really like to cook the ch chickpeas and the spinach because, you know, the pandemic, I had lots of time. And frankly, it just tastes better. All right, so it's done. Let me give you a close-up of how that looks. So my camera work really sucks. Okay, there we go. That's better. So, we may do a couple of videos this weekend uh, for paella and tortillas. We'll see. That will feature my elf, otherwise known as Jose. I hope you're enjoying these. If you're not, I don't really care. You don't have to watch them. Enjoy. Bye.